This tutorial is going to quickly show you how to change the audio output of a stave to a different instrument. In the case here we have an ORF instrument score where the bass xylophone does not play. So uh, you won't hear this either way because I don't have audio going in, but I can click a C, B, A, G. Nothing plays back even for me. I can't hear this through my headset at all. And so we want to change this instrument because right now the bass xylophone is using the xylophone which cannot sound below I think F4. Let me see if I can get it to sound here. Yeah, so there. That's actually F5, but uh, on the alto xylophone F4, it won't play there. So this is the lowest note right here. This F, uh, F5, I believe, uh, is the lowest note that will sound on the xylophone sound on the sample that Sibelius has. So we want to go ahead and change this bass xylophone to something else. So if you go up here to Instruments, blow that out. And you're going to go over here to edit instrument. Before you do edit instrument, you want to make sure that you're on the stave for the sound you want to edit. And so right now you can see I'm highlighted on bass xylophone. I want to edit that instrument. It's going to give me a prompt saying, hey, you sure you want to do this? Because you have a stave in the score right now that is playing back that sound. So be sure that you any change you make will affect your score. Know that. Click yes. So here I have some options. We really want to deal with the playback defaults over here. Right now the best sound that's chosen for the bass xylophone uh, stave is xylophone. And obviously like we said that the xylophone doesn't sound below F4. So we're going to choose a new one. So click choose, Sibelius 7 sounds. Let's do pitch percussion. I'm going to choose wood and I'm going to choose marimba now. So I've changed that. There's also some things you can do up here with transposing scores to have it show in a different octave or a different place on the stave that's up to you to play around with. Um, for now we'll just skip through this. And so I'm going to click OK, click Close, and now I'm going to enter, or I'm just going to go down with this F that didn't sound before. And I'm hearing all these notes still going. Okay, so this C that shows up below, um, I think it's C2, that's the lowest sounding note for the marimba. So if you've switched your bass xylophone to marimba, say, um, you will get some sounds that will play back below that F4. And again, you can use this for any stave, for any score. Um, you can change it to any sound you want. You can make soprano recorder sound like, you know, a, an overdriven guitar or a kalimba or something. So that's how you change instrument sounds playback in Sibelius. Again, up here on Instruments, make sure you're on the stave that you want to change. Click Edit Instrument after confirming that the instrument that you want to change is selected. And then choose a different sound to play back. All these are your, your options. And again, if you're on MIDI playback, right now I'm on Sibelius 7 sounds playback. If you're on MIDI playback, you'd have the 128 MIDI sounds to choose from as well. Hope this helped.